guys. Spain have just beaten Switzerland uh, by a goal to nil in, in Switzerland. In the second match day of the Nations League. No, it's not. It's the third. I told a lie there. Um, yeah, so Spain have now... What have they done? I think that's their first win. I think they drew against Czech Republic the other night. So, yeah, two, two draws and a win now. So, not, not too bad going. Um, they, they started up off quite well, Spain, to be fair to them. Um, they, they got the opening goal from uh, cross from Marcus Llorente to uh, Pablo Sarabia, who uh, got the tap in. On the replay, to me, it looks like Sarabia was probably just offside, which um, I'm surprised they didn't give it, uh, to be honest. Um, they they didn't, didn't like line it up. Or they, they didn't draw any lines or anything on the VAR check, but um, to me, it just looked like Sarabia's knee was ahead of uh, the two Switzerland defenders, but if they've checked it, they've checked it. Um, I'm assuming they they'll have got it right. Uh, they 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 did VAR check it when when the ball went back to the centre circle. Um, but yeah, Marcus Llorente is, is a player I really like watching. Um, and I think he's a player pretty much every team in the world sort of needs in their squad. Um, purely because of the versatility that he provides, he can play central midfield. He can play as a winger. I think for Atletico Madrid, he's even played as like a false number nine at times. Um, so yeah, he he can play in many different positions. He probably plays a full back if if needed. Um, very much well, ironically, a Swiss army knife, more of a Spanish army knife tonight though. Um, subscribe for more, um, please. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he, he had a good game again tonight, Llorente. In fact, uh, I think the only time I've seen him play in real life was actually at Anfield in 2020, last game before COVID. Uh, he happened to score twice and knock Liverpool out of the Champions League. In fact, the other goal scorer on that night was playing tonight, Alvaro Morata. Um, so, yeah, just thinking about that ain't great for me, to be honest. Um didn't enjoy that night, but didn't enjoy extra time for that night anyway. But back to this game. Um, yeah, Switzerland struggled to really create much in the first half. Um, like when when they got when they went to goal down, they couldn't really create anything. But then second half, they came out of the blocks quite quick, and uh, like Shakiri and uh, Zuba, they, they they were linking up well. Same with Briel and Bolo. And it, it just looks a bit more like they had a bit more about them um, than they did against Portugal on, was it Sunday? I think it was Sunday. Um, because again, against Portugal on Sunday, they, they just looked really flat. Switzerland did. Um, they had Ferovic up front that day. I don't think Mbolo played in that game. So Mbolo definitely made a difference because he's uh, a lot more mobile than Seferovic, although Seferovic it does offer you something different in that like when they subbed him on like they did today towards the end of the game for the last 10 minutes he gave them some something to aim for when pumping the ball long um, and he, he could hold his up a bit better than Briel and Bolo could because every time, that's the only problem with Mbolo, every time I, I saw like a ball go forward from either Pau Torres or um, Urente at centre back. Um, he, he, like he, he, Mbolo just sort of got nudged off the ball. Not not by Pau Torres or uh, sorry Urente. Sorry, I mean Tapa Torres and Urente were defending him. Sorry, the ball would have been by uh, probably a Kanji for Switzerland or or someone. Um, and yeah, it. it, it as I said, Llorente or Pau Torres, it's the other end, sorry, um, we're, we're just like keeping him off the ball too easily, like positioning him where they wanted him so they, they could win the ball back. It, it was that, that was too easy for them at times. But having said that Switzerland were a bit better in the second half, they still didn't create any clear-cut chances. Um, the, the, 
best they really had were a few long shots from players like Shakiri and uh, I, th I think Zuba might have also had one as well. Um, so yeah, they, they they still struggled to really create much. Um, and I, I was also impressed by uh, Spain's goalkeeper's positioning at times. I think it was Unai Simon. Um, it, like whenever a ball did come uh, out, like he he was first to it. He was very quick off his line and made good decision making in uh, when to come for it and when not to come for it. Um, which I mean, a lot of goalkeepers uh, you, you see just make horrendous decisions in them decision in them positions these days. Um, so yeah, fair fair play to him for that. Uh, but Spain, they they like really just like took their foot off the gas, but not 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 in like maybe like a critical way, but in in more of a like right, we'll just sit back and defend now and play play on the counter attack. Like um, they they brought uh, Dan, Danny Olmo on towards the end of the game for Sarabia, so it was clear what their intent was. Um, they they were just gonna try and strike. Switzerland on the counter attack if they had an opportunity, and other than that, just try and absorb any pressure that Switzerland tried to put on them. Uh, it it was it wasn't a bad game to watch. It, it was well the game was very well managed by uh, Luis Enrique, Spain's manager. Like he uh, made the right decisions at the right moments. I thought uh, to you know preserve the lead for Spain. Um, and ultimately win the game in the end. Um, yeah, uh, I, I, I thought there were a couple of Spain players who weren't quite on it as much as they usually are tonight. I, I, I didn't think Gavi had a particularly good game. Some of his passing was uh, abysmal at times, which is, isn't like him, to be honest. But, uh, you know, it's a one-off. Everybody has them, don't they? Um but yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of to say, so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.